Hey there, welcome back. Today we're taking a trip all the way to the southern part of Zante, all the way through Argassi, Basilikos, down to Gracchus Beach, and to the Turtle Rescue Center there. So we set off from our house, which is about a 40 minute drive away. The roads were lovely, there was not a lot of traffic, it was quite nice. We drove through Argassi, out the other side of Argassi, up through the really wide, windy roads, down into Vasilikos, and then all the way through to Garakas Beach. Now there is public transport, there's buses and there are transfer coaches as far down as uh, Banana Beach. However, to get further down, you're gonna have to make that effort. There aren't any public transport connections to get all the way down there. So it would be either a, a, a taxi or you could have to hire a car. But I will say that the effort does really pay off. Garakas Beach is a beautiful beach. It is simply stunning it's sandy there are a few rocks but the beach is sandy the waters are clear like you, crystal clear yeah it, there's no rocks and stuff in the water you can just walk straight in there are some beds and brollies for hire there they charge 30 euro for two sun beds and an umbrella um, before 3 p.m. and if you hire a sunbed after 3 p.m. it's reduced down to 15 euro. Now you can do what we did and just bring your own or you can just simply lie on the sand. There are facilities there, there's a chemical toilet apparently somewhere on the beach. I didn't see it but there's a sign to say it was there. There are also showers and changing facilities at the Turtle Centre which is really close by to the beach. Yeah, there are no beach bars on this beach. It's purely protected, it's very much protected. At least half of it is roped off because there are turtle nests and we are in June right now. So this is really the nesting season and they're really on the ball with making sure that that part of the conservation of the turtles and the nesting is protected. So if you do go and you see it's roped off, please do not disturb the nest. Please do not walk by them. Please do not ignore the ropes. The ropes are there for a reason. We saw quite a few people like take the kids for a wee up by where the turtles are. And it's like, isn't that what the sea's for? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the actual nests. You, you need to be careful of all around the nest as well, because they're only the ones that have been marked. It's their beach, you know, like it's yeah. their beach. We need to respect the boundaries that are there and the rules that are there. So there's no water sports there. It's simply just an old fashioned beach and some beds and a sea, but it is so beautiful so simple just laid back the scenery is stunning the water was wonderful it was so warm it was like a bath wasn't it, it was just incredible it really was beautiful like we spent a good three three hours there yeah um, and it was just absolutely beautiful so so far out of all the beaches we've been to that is definitely our favorite beach it really was amazing it's, yeah, it's definitely up there as the headland goes out to the left as you're looking towards the sea out to the left you've got a part of the the the, the, the land that is actually slid and it's called jason's bite jason's bite yeah and oh wow just it's just stunning because you can see in the side of the actual rocks almost like the ages of how the, 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 the cliffs have been formed, but just there's this one bit, and it does look like a big bite has been taken out of it. It's just, oh, it's so picturesque. When we drove down, it was quite busy, to be honest. There's a car park as you're driving in. There's a car park to the right-hand side. It's free parking, and you can park there. We actually got really lucky and parked right by, right by where the gate is to, walk down to the beach and um, we managed to snag a spot there yeah we've all we've really become quite greek and ignored every other parking op uh, opportunity and just made a beeline for where we want to go but thankfully there was actually a car coming out from a, that part as we arrived so i just kind of quickly 
duck yeah. in, ducked in there and thank you that's our space but there is quite a large car park isn't there yeah from where you park the car you've got about a five minute walk actually to get down to the beach now there are two ways to get down there's a ramp and the stairs the steps are quite steep though so i would advise maybe going down the ramp so that's perfect if you're in a wheelchair or you have a pram or you've got a lot of kids with you or you just don't want to do the steps yeah i don't want to do the steps, <laughs> do the steps. um so yeah it's it literally is like a five minute walk down and it's beautiful on the right hand side as you're walking down towards the beach there are big information boards all about the turtles and also this information center i did see so that's there as well if you want to know more about the turtles one thing about the beach i did notice uh, along the strip of the beach there were a couple of uh, lifeguard stations as well i don't know how active they are obviously you wouldn't ever like 100 percent rely on that but it's good to see that that kind of thing is in place Coming back away from the beach, as we said, there's no bars or restaurants along that beach. Uh, the nearest place to eat or get refreshments is just a little bit away. I think there's the Garakas Tavern. It's right by the car park. It is, yeah, yeah. right opposite. And uh, a little bit further away, like almost like next door, there's the Turtle Rescue Centre, the Garakas Turtle Rescue Centre, and attached to that is a bar and restaurant, which serves, on their board it says it's the best pork gyros and we will completely agree. Yeah, we've had quite a few. It was tremendous. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Not bad prices neither, to be honest. I think that was six euro. A pint is six euro, which is quite spenny, but they've got you, so it, it is kind of worth it. And the Euros was like seven euro, I think. So. It was six, I think. Was it six? Maybe six or seven, mm. don't quote me. It was amazing though, well worth it. Yeah, very much so. And also that place is decked out as well, really well. They have showers, a lot of toilets, a lot of changing facilities. So if you're looking for somewhere to get changed and stuff, that's your place. Also within there, they have a, a gift shop, which is also connected to everything with regards to turtles and their survival and their conservation. They it's, have little aquariums in there. They have it, yeah, they have all the hatching nests, they have all the numbers down, how many nests, how many made it, um, they have all the information, petitions, everything. It's You need to go and see it because it's amazing. So that is kind of like an information centre. I was going to say, um, like a museum but it's not a museum it's as informative as a museum if you get me they have a lot of things there it'd be great for kids as well yeah absolutely and you can kind of get up close and personal with i think a few of the turtles that they've got that they're that they're keeping until they get to a certain size yeah. to release back it, it's so well run and it's clearly done with completely with the with the turtles in mind and their conservation so the turtle center is in two it's split into two so when you come out of the bar or you'll see a giant turtle it's, it's huge obviously it's fake it's not real um, so there's a big giant turtle so to the left of that you have tanks where you can go down and get up close and personal with the turtles with feeding times posted as with well. feeding times posted um actually as well like three three times a day and then you come up from that and you go into the gift shop the gift shop is the race as well it's really well stocked it's really well priced and the staff are so lovely yeah. like they really are we left the beach at around 6 p.m we had had enough of swimming and lazing about we were knackers weren't we exhausted but it was such a great day but yeah we we left around 6 p.m. and we drove back. We drove back the same way as we drove in. It's one road in, one road out. Forgot to mention as well, there are loads of tavernas and loads of beautiful places to eat in Basilicos. And actually, it's kind of as soon as you leave our Argassi and you climb up, there are loads of places to eat on the way um, and, and on the way back too. So if you're wanting to stop off at a little taverna, have a little crap of wine, and a little Greek salad, you can do that. I don't think you want a little crap of wine, a Greek salad. I do. Um, so yeah, there are loads of places. It's just so beautiful as well. Also off the main road of Silicost, there are loads of little roads going off towards the beach. There are loads of little coves and nice little, I want to say secluded beaches. Last time we went was in October and they were secluded. I can't actually say for what it's like it in was season. It was, luxurious, it was beautiful um so yeah so that's something to bear in mind you don't just have to head down to that beach there are loads of other little places to explore so as we were driving back the evening time was coming in we drove back through our gassy and we started to see the town waking up a little bit getting ready for the evening everyone was milling about having pre-dinner drinks and stuff so it was really nice to see towns are alive now with tourists and stuff so it really is great 
all in all the most beautiful beach the most gorgeous views just are absolutely stunning Caracas Beach is definitely one that is worth the effort and as I said at the beginning there are no public transports to get you all the way down you can get a taxi might be a little bit pricey but if you're hiring a car anyway and I would highly recommend uh, you okay then? Yeah. I would highly recommend hiring a car anyway because this island has so much to offer yeah and if you do hire a car definitely point it towards the south at least once and get yourself down there it's just oh, beautiful it's beautiful thank you so much for watching give us a cheeky like if you wouldn't mind hit that like button because it really helps out the channel also don't forget to follow us over on tiktok we have a tiktok account and also uh, we also have an instagram account where we generally post day-to-day -day stories of life here in zanti what we get up to everything you need is in the drop down below and we'll catch you next week we will get back onto our schedule of uploading every sunday at 7 pm so we will and if you're brand new to here don't forget to subscribe here we have been here since april we've posted loads of videos with regards to how we got here what we've done since we've been here and yeah so there's loads more to come as well loads take care guys and we'll see you next week bye see you